How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be installing Rugged's new sport line of radio communication in the 6x6. I mean this thing is pretty slick. You can see that it comes with two different style of headsets. So you got this that actually just goes around your ears for those that uh, do not prefer to wear helmets or the 11 states where you can do that. Um, here in California, obviously, we're going to have to run something like this that goes inside our helmets. And our race helmets are already um, set up with something similar to this. So, but it's really cool that it comes with all of this. This is another one of these. So you have one for the driver, the co-driver in both setups. And then they sent a 364 intercom that's got the buttons on the actual intercom. So whether you're the driver or passenger, you can hit this button and talk to one or the other with a volume right there. Pretty simple, but pretty effective for what it's gonna be. Comes with all the necessary wiring. They leave these off in case you wanna do your own. They don't put a, um, can't think of what it's called. They don't put the ends on these in case you wanna run it straight to the battery or you're gonna wire it into something else, like a fuse panel, anything like that. So make sure that you have connections for those. This guy right here connects into this, which is gonna go to the R1 radio, and those things are awesome. We use them when we're racing, and that is crystal clear communication on that thing. So that is actually what is going to be reaching out to your riding buddies when you're calling out to them. Um, out on the trail, this is what's going to hold that radio. It's going to hold the R1. So, yeah. Let's get to getting. And this piece here, forgot about that. That's going to go to the driver and the passenger so it can all be connected straight to them. Comes with instructions on how to wire it correctly, simple instructions like that, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy install, so we'll get after it. Okay, so I found a place that I wanna mount this. It's right in the center console here on the six by six Defender, and luckily these brackets can move got it tightened a little too much they can move all over the place 360 and then obviously slide down the the intercom here so I decided so both passenger and driver can reach their personal push to talks this will be a really good setup. So, got four screws here. Gonna screw it right down through here, and then we're gonna run our wires. Um, so yeah, get after it. Okay, so I got those little screws mounted up, <clears throat> and then obviously you wanna tighten these bad boys. You do that with a 10 millimeter wrench. to get gnarly with it but once those are tight this thing's this thing's secure and then we can start running our wires one thing I wanted to show you guys is how how tight this is just from these little mounts this thing is rock solid I mean that's gonna work out so nice especially when we're rallying out here in the desert in the old 6x6 that is, that is nice. I forgot to mention this 364 has Bluetooth technology, which means I should be able to hook it up to a GoPro, the audio and everything. So we're gonna test that out possibly in a new, another video, but Rugged sure makes some cool stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out we're gonna wire this thing. So I'm basically 
lifted this up there's two little clips down here that if you lift up from here um, it'll pop away from the rest of the dash and you can access some <clears throat> some wiring in here now if you can see up there you can see that there is um, positive and negative wires going to these these metal posts so I'm gonna make my life easy and I'm gonna drill these holes out a little bit bigger just so this can fit down in and that way I'm gonna run everything down through these one of these holes so I already checked there's nothing back here always check on your own vehicle of course stick your hand through the bottom here and just make sure that there's nothing that's going to interfere with cutting down there because sometimes you never know um, a wire a rogue wire could be chilling there but I'm just going to make one of these holes a little bit bigger all right so I got a half inch drill bit I'm sure it's a real nice one we've used it on the race car about a hundred times probably melt the dang plastic before it cuts into it but I'm gonna drill it right down through here bam that, that beauty she still cuts you know Ryobi so there you go there's your half inch hole alrighty so I already checked this and it fits in there like a glove and you can see how much you can see how much wire we got so I'm gonna run this down through here and a lot of that's gonna be cut off so we just don't need that much gonna pull it on through So as the professionals that we are, we ended up having to hog that hole out with a half inch drill bit since we don't have a proper step bit or a hole saw or anything like that. So this is what we get. But I wanted this to fit. I wanted these pieces to fit in there so it was a little more Santa, a little more clean. So I had to hog it out a little bit. So that's what we ended up with. Just a slightly bigger hole. We're good. All right, so we're gonna grab this plug that I just put through there. And take this wire, hook it back in. Make sure it's good and tight. Tight like a toyga. So now we need to cut these wires a little bit shorter so I can just run them right here. It's obviously, you can run this to your battery or to other parts of the car if you have a fuse panel, everything like that. But since we're just going right here, I can cut, shoot, almost all of this off. So I'm going to do that and put some ends on these. Okay, so I got the connector. I already checked it on the post. And it fits just, just lovely up on that post. So I'm gonna connect them, slap it up there, see if we get some power. So that's a 10 millimeter. <clears throat> 10 millimeter nut. I'm sorry, that sounds ridiculous. It takes a 10 millimeter to get that off. It's more like a six millimeter nut. But you know what I'm saying. So now we're gonna connect positive to positive on this one. Positive is on passenger side and 
And then we need to run the negative over to the negative side. Get past all these wires here. Then we can put our nuts back on. Let's just go nuts. I don't know. Then we can go ahead and tighten them back up. Just a little blip right there. Now let's check to see if we have power. Okay, so with that, when I when I mounted everything where it was at and I ran it to these posts, it's not ran directly to the battery. So as you can tell, it's not coming on. But I have it ran to the key switch off of those posts. So as long as this is on, As long as the power's on, this can be on. See, and we got, do some tests here. Set left, we got right. Push to talk. So we're all set. We got power, baby. Turn it off, it goes off. Turn it on, we're good. So on the back of this, you can see that it's got other connections here. Um, this headset setup comes with two, it's one into two, which makes it really nice. So you don't have to run so many cables with this rugged radio sport setup. Um, but we're gonna connect into here and see if my wife and I can talk to each other real quick. Okay, so I lied, this is not my wife. This not is Andrea, wife. my wife's sister. And that's Rick in the background. So anyways, these are the headsets if you are not wearing a helmet, obviously. And we can hear each other just fine. Just fine. Just fine. She does not have hers set up correctly because we just threw these on. But they have the adjustments right here on the back side. On the back. Where you can, where you can do that. We're just a bit fine. of a hot mess today. It's like 110 out here at the river, so we're trying to get this wrapped up but uh yeah we got communications to each other so that's pretty rad works great so now we have to put the radio system in here and make sure that it works now so yes we're gonna do that okay so i got this hooked up to whoops got it hooked up to this wire like i was showing you earlier comes down to the bottom here. So I got it all hooked up. Now this piece goes into the side of the R1 radio or the side of whatever radio you decide to get and connects into that, like that. So this is gonna be our push to talk system. So I'm gonna turn it on, turn the power for the six by six on turn this bad boy on and we got Rick here and he's got the the other radio he's turning his on what what are you set to Rick best in the desert so I got to hold the unlock key let's go to checkers one yeah can you hear me no you got me yeah I got you okay so we have we have liftoff, so every time I want to talk to him on the radio, hold that button in, and that's your push to talk. Same with the passenger. So you can hear that thing keying on and off on his. And he is getting communication from me, so that's pretty fantastic. So, like I showed you guys earlier, that mount, I'm gonna mount this thing somewhere in this vicinity, that way it's all tied in together all right so if you noticed i've actually shaved my beard because the last 
couple days have been pretty hot and we are actually down on the beach right now where we're going to finish this install um well, this is the colorado river by the way so we're going to finish this install on this 364 intercom from rugged right here on the beach so first thing i need to do is this hole as i mentioned before i drilled this a little bit bigger out right here so i could have access to that fuse make it easy for the wiring i'll probably put something here just so it doesn't look so janky but um maybe some wire loom and um, i'm gonna drill this side out now so i can fish the female end up there i'm sorry the male end and hook it into the back of this so first off gonna drill that out Bam. So we're through. They also include a healthy amount of wire, which is super nice. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten anything before and you wish you had about another five feet. We have plenty enough room to go up here and around the back, zip tie everything we need to zip tie. So co-driver uh, will have the wire easily accessible and the driver so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to now that i've now that i've got it ran down through up through here i'm gonna undo this section and i'm gonna run it down on the floorboard underneath this like i've done for previous projects so i'm gonna do that now start taking out these torx bits that can am likes to use and get this thing ran back make it all clean all right so these are 20 size torque bits 20 torques so i'm going to remove there's a couple up here too that are out of frame but this one these two this guy and there's two up here and then this thing should come out i'm gonna have to remove that battery cover as well but i'll show you that in a minute sorry it's so sandy the beach tends to do that and this is a workhorse so um yeah sometimes she's not clean all right she's loose and i think that actually did nothing to remove this piece because these two are separate it's been a while so i don't remember but i still have i still want to run it underneath here so i'm glad i took that off i'll figure out how to get that off do not remember all right so i figured it out um it's actually right down in here these are those little plastic push fasteners couldn't see because of all this dang sand in here but uh if i remove those three it will uh, come right out of there. All right, so I ended up wiring it to this, this black cable here. It's pretty stiff, so I'm assuming it's probably the gear shift cable. But ran it back here. Once I put this cover on, it's gonna be nice and clean. Run up here, I ran it right underneath the middle seat and I know a few of you are probably gonna roast me on that but it really doesn't bother me that much that it's out in the open these cables are braided really nice so they're strong again I might run some wire loom in there and make it look a little better and then back here tied it up because like I said there's quite a bit of um, extra on this And then on the on the driver's side, same thing. Kind of behind there, I gotta clip that, but um, it's not gonna bother me. Won't see it. So, anyways, zip tied there. Got plenty of 
line here on both sides where we can hook up our helmets or have the uh, we can have the headsets on if we're just driving slow around the park but uh but yeah i'm gonna put this back together and my wife and i will make sure it works between us two in just a second so we got this mount as i showed you before and how this goes on it's pretty simple it's got these cutouts right here on both ends so depending on how you mount it but that cutout is actually for for the clip to hold on to and then it kind of sits up in there so it's cut out for that on this new r1 radio i'm not sure i haven't tried it on the old ones yet but this is uh perfect for the r1 so where i'm thinking i'm going to put this i know i said down here before i think i like it right here and i've checked to make sure there's no wiring back there nothing goofy that's going to happen and the screws are pretty short um, so it just takes two if i can get it off of there just takes two screws two machine screws and they made it nice so it's big so you can get the screwdriver down in there and get it in but uh i'm gonna set it right there i think that'll look good So there we go easy on and off looks pretty slick and then we have this and just slap that in there and we'll have comms with other cars but since we don't have any friends out here right now <laughs> stupid friends Anyway, since we don't have any friends, I don't need to plug that in, but man, that looks really nice sitting next to each other. All right, so I got my wife Rachel in here with me and we got the radio working perfect. The intercom between us is, is crystal clear. Um, we also have the Bluetooth going off of my phone and you can actually we can still communicate with each other hear each other breathing hear each other regardless so it's really nice can hear the music in the background and yeah I mean this is this is huge but um, what do we always say Rachel we're not gonna be wearing these much are we no because you always have to wear your helmet so you get always the wear in a helmet. helmet set up yeah I mean here it's residential it's five miles an hour in this uh, in in our park here at the river at the Colorado River so we don't necessarily wear the helmets here but we head out in that desert which is across the road we have our helmets on so please 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 even though you think you're secure in these things please wear a helmet it's so important five point harness or not helmets always always so uh, guys we can't thank uh, rugged enough for making such an awesome kit the sport kit and it was so simple to install and we'll be able to communicate with each other we'll be able to communicate with different vehicles when we're out on the trail with them and uh, price wise you cannot beat this kit so guys go to ruggedradios.com to pick yourself up one and uh, you will definitely not be disappointed this will work for so many applications you name it it'll work thank you see you next time